In today's video, I'm going to show you how to control um, your touch designer effect with a MIDI device. So you need to open touch designer and connect your device to your laptop. Um, and now we want to delete all of this. Um, and first thing you need to do is to add a MIDI in chop. Um, so when we press, nothing is happening. Um, so we need to open this dialogs window and then go to MIDI device mapper. And it opens this window. Um, so we need to create a new mapping for our MIDI device um, and then select it. Um, this one is mine. Um, so now when we press um, touch designer is reacting um, to each button or slate slider. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through all of them to have them in here. Um, yes, and now it's in here. So you can also map your buttons um, and you do this by pressing here um, and if you're lucky your device will be in here already so you could just pick it and um, then you would have a mapping for your device um, so but I don't <laughs> um, so there's no mapping for my MIDI keyboard in touch designer um, and we could do one ourselves, so it's basically that you go through each button and then name it um, so that this is like B1, B2, B3, B4 and so on. Um, but this, um, I won't do this right now, I will just work with the MIDI in and not the MIDI map in. Um, but there are already exist in videos on how to actually map your MIDI controller um, in Touch Designer. Um, now we have all of our buttons in here. Um, we want to control something with them. Um, and I'm just going to show you a really simple um, example to get an idea and for that I'm gonna add in a circle chop mm. and now you have all of these parameters in here if you don't see this window you can press P on your keyboard to open it um, so you can change a lot of stuff um, so for example if I turn this to 0.2 um, it gets smaller. So let's say we want to control the radius of this circle with this slider of our MIDI device. Um, so what we want to do first is go to our MIDI in and check what slider, like wh what number um, in here is reacting to the slider we want to choose um, and it's this one right here um, so I'm gonna add a select chop right here um, and here in this channel section I'm gonna type in the this I'm, I'm gonna type in the the name of um, the slider which is 
channel one, all seven one. Um, so I'm gonna connect this to the select, and now we see that when we scroll on this, um, the select chop is only reacting to this one and not to any of the others. Um, and then I want to connect it to a math. And you can, I'm just going to leave it like that right now, but basically here you can go to this range tab um, and adjust uh, the yeah adjust the range of it so now we have this here and we have our circle here um, and what I'm gonna do now is to go into the viewer active mode and simply drag and drop this onto a radius um, job reference so now it's linked um, to our circle. Um, so now we see the there's something going wrong, like the the radius is way too big. Um, because remember when we wait, I will just go back or like unlink it, because here it's always something between zero and one. Um, so like if we go to one, it's already quite big um, and you are not able to see it. So let's just test out what range we need. Um, 0.6 is also too big, 0.5. Yeah, I think 0.5. Yeah, 0.5 is good. So we know now that um, it needs to be something between 0 and 0 0.5. Um, so, wait, I will link this again. Um, and then I will go into this math tab again and set the range lower. Um, so this is saying 1, so I'm simply gonna um, multiply it times um, 0.1 maybe. Um, this is something I'm. You need to figure out depending on the range. So now you see that we can control it, but it's still too. It's going up to. It's still the range is still too much. So I will go to 0 0.005 maybe. Yes, so here we go. Let's just um, control another thing and something else, maybe the softness. Yeah, this is good. So you basically do the exact same thing. You can just um, copy and paste this and then check the second slider, it's here. So we need to change the select to 75. And now it's reacting to this slider. Um, and here I'm going to delete the range. I'm just going to put it to 1 for now. Um, and then go back to our circle and drag and drop this onto our softness um, job reference. So now, okay, the range is also too big. Um, so let's change that. We're gonna multiply this times 0 0.05, maybe. Yes, here we go. This is also 
too much. Zero point zero one maybe or zero point zero five. Mm. Here we go. So now we can change the radius and the softness of the circle at the same time. So you could go on doing this for whatever parameter you like. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is just a super basic example um, on how to do this, but you can build this into every touch designer project um, that you have. I'm just gonna show you. So this is a more complex example um, on how to use your MIDI device. Um, so I built this effect, um, which is inspired by um, Supermarket Salad. Um, Shoutouts to him. Um, so I basically took a 3D scan um, and then turned it into point clouds. Um, so this is the main effect. And then here I also added in my MIDI device. Um, and this allows you to control certain parameters. Um, so in this case, it's the movement of the camera. You can change the angles. Um, and then also when we go a little bit closer, um, you can change the noise, the, the particles movement, um, and also the intensity of it. Wait, oh, let me reset this. <laughs> Wait, this is a <laughs> this is such a bad tutorial. Um, so yeah, here you can change the this and then how the particles spread. Um, so yeah, just showing you this um, to give an idea of like how much stuff you can control. Um, with your MIDI device. So whenever you build an effect um, and you like to play around with the parameter, it's really nice to um, connect this with a slider or a button. You can even control uh, sound with this. Um, yeah, so yes, I hope you were able to get an idea of how um, this works and how many possibilities there are to control certain parameters with your MIDI device. Bye.